For generations, Americans greeted each other with a firm handshake. But during these troubling times, when many of us don't want to touch a doorknob, is it time to stop touching other people when you meet? World leaders do it. Sports heroes do it. Handshakes are a part of our daily life. But coronavirus is starting to turn us into a no-touch society. Fist bumps versus shaking hands are not touching at all. If we touch, out comes the sanitizer. I just have Purell in my in my purse. <laughs> Nick Veer runs an advertising and marketing agency. Is it tough to get by not shaking hands? We, we are human beings. We touch, we shake hands. That's a reinforcing thing. But already some places are putting up signs banning handshakes, like here in the Utah State Capitol. Veer says it's tough breaking old habits. I still can't completely shake giving a hug to someone I haven't seen in a while who's been a friend for a long time. But it's not just the hug and handshake habit we may have to break this spring. Just think of all the things you touched in the course of a day. Somebody hands you that morning cup of coffee, then maybe you stop by the mailbox. You touch that. Then, of course, you head to work where you touch the same handle everyone else does. From door handles to elevator buttons to faucets, we're going to have to readjust routines for coronavirus. With my hand, my sleeve, and grab the door handle, so yeah. So Vera and I practiced a quick fist bump and realized it's going to take a while to feel comfortable. With coronavirus spreading, you're not going to insult people if you back away from a handshake. Tell me you're trying to keep both of you safe so you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteries, News 3.